Yo, what up? Welcome to another episode. Uh, today, I, th I, th I think we're going to do something a little special. Uh, pretty sure the title just gave it away. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to do something with the interior that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. So uh, I want to show you guys a little something. So let's, let's, let's go in my car here. Let me, let me just set this camera down real quick. And uh, let me just look. See how crazy my car looks? I got the nice suede Evo seats. Well, whatever they are, Alcantara suede, whatever. And uh, look at this, steering wheel, still fresh. Uh, can you see? Yeah, all right, you can still see. Fresh, so fresh. Interior, still super fresh. No crazy holes in the dash or anything like that. It's, it's really nothing like. I think the only thing I really have is maybe something on this seat here somewhere. I don't know where. Let me, let me just see. Let's see oh yeah it's a little spot here that annoys me uh, a little super glue or something like that i got on there and i can't get it up so that really makes me so mad but it is what it is it's really really clean interior now this interior although we clean it up very very nicely uh it is very very clean but you know what we're missing uh a really nice clean steering wheel so look at this steering wheel here look at that like it just whoo it has seen better days so as you can tell the uh you know i have the airbag out i'm not trying to kill myself but uh the steering wheel itself the bottoms here looks really really nice but i think the top here is is really lacking and this is where you kind of keep your hand most of the time like <clears throat> anyway uh so anyway yeah this is uh this is what we're going to be working on today we're going to get this bad boy cleaned up and uh making it look in a whole lot better and maybe uh start to take out some of these gauges because uh oh my, my phone just went off uh but yeah this is what we will be starting to work on i do have a new rear view mirror coming hopefully it fits this time because there's there's still no still no thing and uh the door the, the the on and off button works on and off works see look at that look at that look at that see look at that see? it works but the door thing doesn't work so i got the door open thing ain't on <sighs> another thing that frustrates me but i'm not really gonna worry about it but yeah so we're gonna get this bad boy off so uh unfortunately i already had this off but it really is not that bad um this clip here that's this is the very front it uh just pops off you just pop a set of uh you know a like flathead screwdriver underneath and you can pop this bad boy right off it's just spring loaded or uh, not spring loaded it's like plastic you know thing bobbers here but yeah that just comes right off um i will say this make sure that you take and disconnect your battery before you touch anything you don't want your airbags to be blown up in your freaking face uh but yeah so uh and the airbag the airbag itself goes in here like this goes in here like so and the, this thing goes like this. this. This is how it looks, right? So you pop this bad boy off. There is a little compartment down here. Can you see? Let's see. Uh, yeah, you can see. Uh, there's a little compartment down here. It's, it sits like this. Just pop this bad boy out. It is the wire for the airbag and the horn, which an another thing that like I need to worry about because the horn doesn't work in this car. It really makes me so freaking mad. It's ridiculous. But anyway, so you disconnect those. Airbag will just pop out after two T30 um, bolts. See the bolt there and a bolt there. And they go through on the side. So right here. Yeah, right there. So there's one here and one on the adjacent side. So two T30s deep in there. You pop those bad boys out. It should look like this. Look at that. See? Like that. Two T30s. And uh, the airbag should come right out. And now you have this one last one here uh, for the steering wheel. So uh, let me go get a marker because one thing that you really don't want to mess up is the alignment on this bad boy because, uh, yeah, you, 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 you really don't want to mess this up because if you mess it up, then you're going to have to take it all apart again. You're going to have to mess with the alignment of your steering steering wheel, and you, you really don't want to do that. So let me go get a, a, a pen or something like that to mark this. 
Okay, I'm back. So uh, what you're gonna need to do is, uh, this is what I like to do. See that space right there? I just like to mark where that space is gonna be, just so I know where it's gonna go back. So, it should look like that. So I know it's, it's kinda hard to see, but that's what it's gonna look like. So, next thing you will need is a, what is this? A little stubby ratchet, and what is this? Eight mil. It's an 8 mil Allen key, or I have a uh, ball head one. <laughs> ball head. Anyway, uh, you want to stick it in this last hole here. <laughs> Freezing. Um, and uh, you want to make sure you turn and get it loose. Hold on. Am I doing this right? All right, I got to get another uh, different one. Hold on. All right, people. So you can't really use a stubby. You need something with some... Uh, you know some leverage here so i had pre-done this so uh yeah this is all you really need to do a couple turns a couple turns and uh you'll be loose enough to actually pull this bad boy out and uh i don't think that you need to pull i don't think you need to pull it out all the way so let me see if this comes out nope you actually need to take the whole bolt out so let's take the whole bolt out here this uh, okay so now the bolt should just come right out well at least somewhat out all right so it catches there it catches in there so that the bolt won't fall out so you should be able to just pull it and there you go you have your uh you have everything out so don't touch anything like even though i think mine is kind of messed up already um I don't really want to touch this too, too much because uh, I don't want to mess it up any more than it already is. So, um, a quick disclaimer, if you're doing anything with your steering wheel, you don't really need to take it off. Like we are going to be doing something, we are going to be doing something a little special. So, uh, we have a, uh, uh let me put this, I have a bunch of STI stuff just sitting around. So, uh, we have a, uh, we have a steering wheel wrap. So we're gonna be going with this. So I don't know if you guys can see the color. But anyway, um, I'm gonna open this up inside because me and babes are gonna be uh, doing this together because I've never done, and I'm really, really excited to kind of get this bad boy done. And uh, yeah, so you will need a couple tools to actually take off. Um, there are a couple like small little braces, uh, these little things that go around the steering wheel here. So get a pick, there's three of them, one here, one here, one here. And uh, you should be able to get that off and we could start working on our steering wheel wrap. So yeah, let's get it inside and uh, we'll start working on it. Let's go. All right, people. So I have the steering wheel off and uh, let me show you guys uh, exactly what we got here. As soon as, as, soon as this stops sticking to me. All right, so there are a lot of uh, a lot of companies that do steering wheel wraps nowadays, but uh, they give me a bunch of stuff. A thimble, a bunch of tape, looks like uh, some type of like plastic tool, a bunch of thread, as you can see, going with blue. Um, instructions and how to kind of do it, and in color, which is awesome. And uh, we have our steering wheel wrap itself. We opted to go with the blue stripe. Uh, I think it was gonna fit the car uh, very well. That's why I went with blue on the valve cover and on the Brembos. And I think they're gonna come. I think this is gonna come out very, very well. So uh, I think the first thing we're gonna start with is reading the instructions i'm not really good with reading instructions i will say that but uh it is it, it looks fairly simple um pretty sure i can probably get it down but uh i know the wifey does do a lot of this she likes to do a lot of sewing and stuff like that so have her look at this with me and uh, i'll be taking apart these couple things here to try to get off uh and clean the wheel as much as i possibly can because it looks like from step one, I have to cut off a bunch of tape and stick it all over the place so that this bad boy does not move. So give me a little bit. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit of this instructions and uh, we'll go from there. So give me a minute.
All right, people, don't be like me, man. Um, there was three of these like little tiny uh, things that go here, and uh, they were like glued in. It was it was so weird. It was so tough to get out. Uh, it was almost ridiculous. I almost wound up broken, uh, breaking one. Thank God I didn't. Uh, so just keep that in mind whenever you're putting these back together. I don't know if you're going to have to use some type of adhesive or whatever the case is. But uh, as you can tell, um, we got blue and we got Danielle over here doing some stuff. And uh, yeah, we're going to be starting to, you know, do all, all this stuff now. Like she's putting on tape right now. So I guess... Tape goes all over the place, and then, uh, yeah, it's gonna go on the steering wheel. So yeah, let's get to work. at the the point where uh it's already starting to look like a really good steering wheel that's for sure so there's not going to be an, enough room in this kitchen for uh the, for the two of us so i'm gonna let danielle uh do her thing and I'll, I'll record some of what she's got going on and then uh, we'll come back with the final results she will be using the blue which is going to be really nice well with the needle blue with the needle and uh yeah she's just gonna go to work uh she's better skilled at stuff like this than i am so uh yeah i'm gonna let her work i'm gonna record her just a little bit and uh yeah i'm probably just gonna go and just stay out of her way so uh yeah i'll record a little bit and we'll we'll see the final results let's go first uh first corner done and it actually looks really really good i will say that like you can't barely see it but uh it, it it came together really really nice we had some trouble trying to figure out the stitch pattern um but every other one yeah every every other one is the one you, the one you got to do but uh yeah it came, it came together really really nice so uh i'm very very happy with it so got the rest of the steering wheel to do so uh we're going to cut back whenever it's all finished. So uh, it's going to be a little bit. It probably took us probably, I don't know, like half hour probably. Um, so it'll probably take us a little bit to get the rest of the steering wheel done. But yeah, give us a little bit. We'll finish up and uh, yeah, we'll finish up this project.
guys, we are finished with the uh, the steering wheel. As you can tell, it came out so nice. Danielle was the one that was doing all the stitching. Uh, not bad for our first one. There's some imperfections, but like if I don't spot them out to you, you'd never see them, right, babe? Yep. So we're not gonna spot them out. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're gonna be putting this back in the car, and we're gonna finish up uh, putting the airbag back in and stuff like that. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. So let's go. Whoo! Looks good, right, babe? Yeah, looks, I love it. Holy crap. Look at that, people. Look at... Oh, my goodness. Oh, jeez. It looks so good, dude. It looks so good. The blue stripe, blue stitching. Like I said before, there are some imperfections in the steering wheel, but you're never really going to see them unless I really point them out to you. But overall, it is a really, really good uh, setup. It was like 50 bucks or something like that. I think I got it. Uh, I don't know. I don't, did we get it on eBay? All right, we got it on eBay. So it was like 50 bucks. I'll try to link the, uh, you know, what where I got it from in the link down in the description. It took us a little bit. I think it was like half an hour for this part, this part, and like maybe another 40 minutes or so for this part. So it was a little bit of a lengthy process, but uh, it's not it's not perfect, but it's definitely worth the look. I told like you don't even like under here you don't even feel anything. Like it's so like. I, I don't even know what it's even called, like suede or, yeah, okay, it's suede. So like it, it it's really really nice. So uh, the steering wheel is back on, and uh, this project is uh, on its way to moving. It's moving. Oh yeah, um, with the tape. So we were really concerned about the tape and the stitching. So this is how much tape we got left. So we didn't really need to put a lot of tape, a lot of tape, but around the edges here, here, and like you know strips here 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 you know what i mean they, there was a, there was enough so this is all that stuff that's left um they have an ample amount of tape and an ample amount of stitching like i was really concerned about the stitching um as you can kind of tell the stitching is like a cross stitch and uh it can it, it came out really really good we had way more stitching than i ever thought we ever really needed and, and this it. yeah and, and we doubled it so like uh some of the instructions just say like one strip and then you just go in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, we doubled it just so that like we had a lot of strength. Uh, the strength of the um, thread. the thread was super, super like it is super strong. So like it held up to a lot of abuse. Like you know the the type of abuse that like uh, you would normally uh, put on any type of thread, it would have just ripped. Um, be honest with you. But uh, this stuff here is really, really good. Again really nice stuff really high quality stuff so like i'm very very happy with it so uh yeah if you're interested link down in the description below i will link it and uh yeah um we will be uh moving on along with the uh the evo project and uh hopefully getting it sold soon well whenever we get the title so uh yeah we will be back with more videos on the evo uh, we do need to take out the water meth and take out the the you know electronic boost controller so yeah, we'll we'll get to that next video or the you know a couple videos down the line. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure you like the video. Um, it it does it does help. Uh, so like I said before in the previous video, uh, there's a lot of people that have come up to me and telling me that uh, I have good material. They just don't know why it's not getting thousands of views. So uh, yeah, if you like what you see, uh, hit that like button. Maybe share it if you want. Uh, but yeah, it, you know I don't know. <sighs> Anything else? Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one, alright? Deuces. Deuces.